Hey, what is up everybody? My name is Alex Drops. And I'm currently hopping from pillar to pillar trying to avoid this TNT cannon which is sitting in front of me and it just keeps shooting at me. And I can't for the life of me figure out why. It seems wherever I go it just keeps firing. And it seems that maybe I can get away from it over here, maybe? I don't know, it's pretty far away. And uh, no, it still managed to shoot at me. Well, I guess that's a pretty good thing, I guess, because this is my new design for a smart cannon. And as you just saw, this cannon has the ability to find and shoot at a player and six given points in a battlefield or whatever it is in front of you. Um, this concept, it's pretty cool. It's not finished by any means yet. And if you couldn't already guess, it is based off of command blocks and the test for command. And so what is going on here as it shoots at me? Basically there would be a player here and there would be a button this whole thing is so I could activate the cannon wirelessly. You wouldn't actually need this, of course. So I'll press this button. All of the command blocks would test for me. And if they find me in their radius, it'll give off an output. And however strong the signal strength is, based on these three torches, it'll either activate two, three, or four of these, which will be hit there, there, or there, depending on how far away the player is that they're firing at. So it works pretty good in theory and it works alright when I tried it out and threw this together real quick there's still plenty of flaws I fixed a few of them for instance um, if there's actually no player in the six spots that it checks for and I activated it like this it would actually just shoot out four from each thing and then just shoot the TNT straight forward this is because every time normally it would just get blocked and it wouldn't shoot out all four, but when there is no no one to shoot at, this will go just go through. So that's one of the major things about it. Overall, it's pretty functional. It is quite slow in a sense. I mean, compared to other TNT cannons, it's just as fast as them. But if I'm standing here and I activated the cannon, TNT takes four seconds to ignite, which is quite a long time. And so in four seconds, one, two, three, four. I'm all the way right here, and the cannon wouldn't even hit me anymore because I would all already be far away. So that's one small problem, I guess. But I'm sure I could either find a way to shoot in front of the spot or use an instant TNT cannon, maybe with minecarts. And these are all, this is all part of a concept idea. I'm hoping to get some improvements so this is a better design overall. Another thing I could add is, really not add, would be compactness. As of right now, it's pretty huge, and I think that's a problem. So I'm going to try and small this down. It's also, of course, not functional at all on a normal PvP map, because command blocks. That can't be avoided, however. So I would say this is a design for maps or servers that have already built things in them. Maybe a hostile map would be perfect for this. Just have an area and just shoot at the player who's playing the map. You could also replace this for a clock. If you just took out the button and put a clock there, it would constantly test four players. And so if anyone walked into this, it would fire without even needing a button press. And other than that, there are not too many other flaws. I kind of just want to get this idea out into the community because I think it has a lot of potential and if this goes any farther I think it has some there's some great things it can do as far as map making um, one other thing I didn't really mention yet I have some improvements in mind as far as range wise I would also like to add a few more layers so could detect players this layer um, maybe like 20 blocks back and like 40 blocks back and so it would be able to have a larger range and yeah, this is all part of the process, and if you have any ideas, um, suggestions, 
improvements, whatever you can add, that'd be fantastic. And if whatever you want to do with this cannon is perfectly fine with me. So I'd like to thank you all for watching and listening to this concept I have. And I hope you enjoyed, and you all have a great day. I'll see you next time.